Well, the Vatican is hosting an event highlighting the role faith can play in science. The event is being organized by the UK and Italian embassies to the Holy See. Set to take place in October, it will feature numerous faith leaders and scientists. So they will discuss a coordinated effort to protect the planet. Joining us now is Sally Axworthy, United Kingdom Ambassador to the Holy See. Ambassador Axworthy, thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Uh, uh, tell us about this initiative. Who will be speaking in October? Okay, so in October, we're inviting uh, 40, nearly 40 faith leaders and 10 scientists to the Vatican to talk about climate change. And this is an, in advance of COP26, the Climate Change Summit, that will take place in Glasgow in November of this year. So we have partnered up with the Italian Embassy to the Holy See, who are our co-hosts for COP26, and also with the Vatican itself to run this initiative. And we're hoping that the faith leaders will come and they will give a message of encouragement uh, and they will ask uh, fa uh, political leaders at COP26 to show ambition in tackling climate change. And can you tell us a little more how religion and faith uh, can work together with science? So um, for the, first, the last six months, we've been running uh, virtual preparatory meetings for the event in October. And we've been hearing from the faith leaders and the scientists their views on the environment. And um, what has been really striking has been how much they agree. So the scientists bring the data on climate change, uh, but the, the faith leaders really agree with them. They say that, you know, that uh, nature is sacred and that uh, we, it is our duty to protect the environment. So the two things together, I mean, this is their words, not mine, but they've talked about uh, the sort of the facts that science bring, partnering with the, the passion and the, the motivational qualities of faith leaders. And we think that these two things together can really make an impact. I mean, as you know, about 84% of the world's population are affiliated to a faith. So if uh, faith leaders motivate their followers to take action on climate change and to ask their governments to be more ambitious, this could really have a significant impact. I want to switch gears slightly here. Uh, we understand that you'll be finishing your term as ambassador. I know you spent four years at the Vatican. Uh, looking back, what are some of the highlights of your time there? There have been many highlights of my time here. I mean, I think I've, I've very much enjoyed working here. And in some ways, it's been the unexpected things that have been the best things. Um, in 2019, we had the canoniza canonization of John Henry Newman. The embassy organized a weekend of events to celebrate, and that was definitely a high point. We had a visit from the Prince of Wales. Um, I've also deeply enjoyed working with the Vatican on, uh, on the dialogue with Islam. We did a conference quite near the beginning of my time here on uh, Christian and Muslim faith leaders tackling religiously inspired violence together. So that was another high point. Uh, but there have been so many, and it's really been on the issues that have, have come up where the, the Holy See has something to say, has a voice, and can bring a new perspective to the issues that we're all, we're all facing. And also looking back at your time at the Vatican, what has changed over the years? So I think one significant change has been uh, the involvement of women in uh, the work of the Vatican. I mean, there's, when I first came here, I was uh, surprised to quite often be in a room that was sort of full of men, which isn't, isn't that surprising when you think about it, because most senior positions in the Vatican are, are held by priests. But I think that has changed over the last five years. So the Vatican's been increasingly appointing senior women to positions in the Vatican uh, and involving the religious sisters in the debates and just opening up. Uh, so I would say that there's been significant progress on that. Well, Madam Ambassador, thank you for your time today and thank you for all of your hard work. God bless you on your next chapter. Sally Axworthy, British Ambassador to the Holy See. Thank you again. Thank you.